What's good guys, Adina Sakardi here. I'm a fitness trainer based in Jakarta, Indonesia. And today we're gonna to go through a thoracic spine mobility routine. Let's get to it. To begin with, we're gonna start by releasing our pec muscles with our foam roller. Using two fingers, we're gonna feel out the end of our pectoral muscle. And that's where we're gonna place our foam roller in a 45 degree angle. Okay, going down on the floor, we're gonna lie face down, extend that left arm to your side, and replace that foam roller on a 45 degree angle at the end of your pec muscle. With your right hand, you're gonna place it flat on the floor. You're gonna push with your right hand as we are rolling the foam roller to the center of our chest. The next movement that we're gonna do is we're going to foam roll our lats. Coming back down to the mat, we're gonna lay on our side placing our foam roller just behind our ribs, extending our arm in front of us in a straight line, back foot flattened at the back, using our hand and our back foot to assist. We're going to slowly move ourselves on the foam roller up and down our lat muscles. Next up, we're going to be stretching our pectoral muscles with our foam roller. We're gonna be working on our left side first. We're gonna make sure that we have a nice 90 degree angle with our arm. With our right hand, we're going to lay flat as if we are in a push-up position, okay? So, we're gonna come down, face down on our mat. Left arm goes 90 degrees. Right arm flat, like a push-up position. And slowly, we're going to rotate pushing the floor with our forearm. Inhale, exhale. Next up, we're going to do a lat stretch with our foam roller. We're going to place our foam roller in front of the arm that we'll be working on. I'm gonna be working on my left arm first, so I'm gonna place my left forearm on top of my foam roller, okay? My other arm stabilizes by my side, toes pointing down, hips to the heel, as I inhale, I want to reach forward and lengthen my left arm. Inhale. And as I exhale, I want to drop and sink closer to the mat. Continuing on, we're gonna roll our upper back on the foam roller. So place your foam roller across the mat, sit down in front of the foam roller, and slowly lower your back onto the foam roller. Both feet are planted on the ground. Both hands go behind your head. Lift up your hips and start rolling your thoracic spine up and down the foam roller. You're gonna do this for 30 seconds. After that, you're gonna bring the foam roller down lower to your th thoracic spine. Feet stay grounded on the mat. Hips stay grounded this time on the mat. You're gonna utilize your breath in the inhalation here. And as you exhale, you're gonna extend back. Inhale. And extend all the way back. Next up, we're gonna do a T-spine prone rotation. Coming down into a half fetal position on our mat, we're going to lay our left forearm arm straight and flat on the mat. And with our other arm, we're going to point our elbow to the floor. Our toes are digging into the mat, our hips to our heels. Inhale here, exhale, rotate. Move slowly, inhale here, and rotate. So from the front, it will look like this. Inhale, exhale, rotate, inhale. Exhale, rotate. Next up, we're gonna do 12 repetitions of floor X's. We're gonna lay face down to our mat. We're going to squeeze our glutes, press our hips onto the floor so that our core is engaged, and then extend both our arms out. Inhale here, and exhale, lift up. Inhale down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale down, exhale lift up and then moving on to floor cobras for 12 repetitions bring your hands down palms facing to the floor gaze your eyes onto the mat 
Roll your shoulders back and out. Again, engage your core, press your hips to the mat. Inhale here, exhale, lift. Inhale here, exhale, lift. Standing on our mat, we're gonna do 20 repetitions of side lunges with floor touches. Okay, 10 to the right and then 10 to the left. We're gonna start on the left side of the mat and lunge to the right side, touching the floor, chest forward, look forward, exhale, back to our original position. Inhale, down, exhale. The next movement that we're going to perform is 20 repetitions of squat to rotational reaches. We're going to begin with standing just slightly wider than hip width apart. And then as we come down, we're gonna put our weight on the back of our heel into a nice squat position and then rotate into our reach. Squat, squat, and that is a wrap with our mobility training today.